We're a little over a week away from Blog World New Media Expo New York, June 5th through the 7th. We're going to talk to some people on Hangouts. We're going to talk about the speakers, and we're going to do that right now. Uh, my best social media tip, I guess, would be that you have to do this yourself. You can't let someone else do it for you. You have to learn this personally. You have to do it personally. It's the only way you're really going to understand how it works, and then that's how you're going to be able to manage that process. So, Hey, everybody. Jeffrey Powers here. Geekazine.com is where you can find me, www.geekazine.com. Think magazine, take out the mag, put in a geek. You got Geekazine. All right, you know, we are less than, well, we're a little bit more than a week away, less than a month away, of course, a little bit more than a week away before Blog World New Media Expo. We've got a great lineup of people coming to Blog World. We've got a lot of great attendees. We've got a lot of great things happening at Blog World New Media Expo. For some of you, it's going to be your first time at a Blog World. For some of you, it's going to be your first time in New York City. And for some of you, you've been there, you've done that, you know what you're talking about. And the cool thing is you get to meet people and you get to see the people that influence the new media space are gonna that are going to be there. You know, the one thing that I always say is you can get up online and meet everybody in the world. You have that probably two to three degrees of separation now. But when it's time to actually meet people and actually find out who they are and what they do, that's when you get a key element in your social media groups is because you've, you've been with them face to face, you've talked with them, you've found out what they did, their dreams, their aspirations, their desires. And let me tell you something, I was at my first Blog World and New Media Expo back in 2009, I believe it was, and I was looking on the stage and I said to myself, you know, someday I'm going to be on that stage because I, this is my passion, this is what I did, this is what I love to do. All right, well, first of all, let's get into one of the five question interviews that I did earlier this week with a pretty well-known blogger. His name is C.C. Chapman, and here it is, this five questions. I don't know who I am. Uh, my name is C.C. Chapman. I'm here in the Metro West Boston area. It's very Boston. wet. It bo See, I don't have a Boston accent because I'm a proud, grew up in New Hampshire, so I do not have a Boston accent no matter how much people try to give me one. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm a, I'm a writer, I'm a blogger, I'm a photographer. Uh, you can find me at cc-chapman.com. I wrote a book with Ann Hanley called Content Rules. I do a web show called Passion Hit TV. I run Digital Dads. What else do I do? I podcast. I speak. I consult. I, you know, I, I basically don't sleep. That's what I. That's true. My bio: CC Chapman, the guy who doesn't sleep. Is. All right. Are you ready for five questions? Shoot, five. go! These are five thought-provoking questions that'll make your world spin. Again. Okay. Okay. Ready? You ready? Okay, here we go. Question number one. Now, now, the first question for you is, you've got a book out there, and uh, what's the name of the book? It's called Content Rules. And see if I was prepared. Watch this. <laughs> I was actually thinking of doing the same thing. Back. It's, it's in paperback, new and revised. Just got hey. off, hot off the presses. Okay, yeah, so. so you have a book out there. You're going to be doing a book signing, but you're going to be doing a book signing not only on the blog world side of things, but you're going to be going upstairs, take the stairs, doot, 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 and go up into the BEA, and you're going to be signing there. Is this the first time you're going to be signing at Book Expo, uh, or did you do this last year as well? Now, the rumors could be completely... I, I, I'm not 100% positive where I'm signing. I just know I, Ann and I, Ann Hanley and I are going to be signing books um, I've never, no, I've never been, because I missed last year, I was supposed to go to Blog World, and I had emergency surgery, which prevented me from going, so I've never been to the one in New York, so I've never oh. been to BEA, I'm looking to, you know, Wiley's our publisher, and I'm, I know they, they, they have a presence at BEA, so I'm looking forward to checking out both worlds, but, okay. but come get the book, it's got pretty cartoons in it. <laughs> speak human. Yeah, human so I'm, I'm speak just jazz. I was kind of laughing about having a paperback come out, but the <laughs> fact that we get to put our illustrations in it makes me very happy. Okay, so now the first question is, okay. what what are you expecting? Uh, we, we know what you expect out of Blog World because we, we've talked about that before, but what are you ex uh, are you expecting to do anything upstairs at BEA? I really want to check it out because I think uh, I'm curious. I was This was last year I really wanted to go too, and so I, I'm very curious to see what 
book publishers and authors what what they're what they're trying to do you know because let's face it we get social media we know everybody at blog world is going is getting social media or at least is interested in it but what is you know old fashioned publishing of printed books what are they doing? What are they thinking about? Uh, how's it, you know, what's coming out from, I, I, I love the read, so I'm looking forward to, because I know one of the big things about this event from the book perspective is they show what's coming out in the fall. So I'm mm -hmm. curious to see what books are coming, because I, I, I read nonstop, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to, you know, see what, what else is going on. All right, question number two. <laughs> I, I take it this is not your first time in New York City. No, I was there on Saturday. <laughs> oh, okay, well... <laughs> Are you expecting to do anything not Blog World specific at uh, at Blog World this the that week that you're there? Well, as with any conference, um, you know some of the best stuff happens outside of the conference. You know, it's it's connect. You know, I've already I know I've already got dinner plans two nights of the of the of the conference from people that you know I, I don't see very often, but we see each other at conferences. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, Nothing, nothing like New York specific while I'm there. I mean, hopefully hitting a diner at some point because that's how I roll. Um, it all depends on. I still don't know where I'm staying yet, so that all depends on what I do. Depends wh what part of New York I'm in. But I'm sure I'll be out and about with my camera taking pictures because I seem to do that no matter what city I'm in. <laughs> all right. Well, question number three. Um, no, you've been to Blog World before, and you've met all the people. You, you're you're pretty much a. a, a uh, a regular in these types of circles, but is there anybody that you haven't met yet that you're expecting to meet this year at uh, at New York? Uh, you know, it, it's funny you say that because all of a sudden I'm like, wait, who's going? <laughs> I haven't really, I haven't, I honestly haven't looked at. Well, I, I did see somebody yesterday. I know Deb announced somebody who was speaking yesterday, and I and my my reaction was, who the heck is that? And I thought, man, I, I should definitely check out who that is because I didn't know the name or who it was. See, now I'm going to look to see who is speaking there because I don't know. I just, because like you said, I am a regular. I just go because it's yeah. always a great event. There's always people. Um, I'm looking, so I'm looking through the speakers here. Everybody is, I know. Is it Robert Scoble? No, that, that's a name I know. No, yeah. Who the hell's Scoble? <laughs> yeah. Who's, who's Robert Scoble? Who's, who's it's funny. I'm looking through. I know pretty much everybody. Well, I've never met. I don't think I've ever met Jenny Lawson. I, I'm a huge fan of hers. I love her. I don't think I've actually. We don't think we've actually met. So I'll say Jenny Lawson, the bloggist. I, I can't wait to meet her. She'd be okay. great to meet. <laughs> speaking of which, what are you going to be speaking about? I am excited because <laughs> yeah, I am speaking about something I don't usually get to talk about. I'm talking about photography. Uh, I am me, uh, Jane Quigley from Strategy JQ, and Steve Colson from Campfire are going to be doing a panel talking about photography and why photography photography is like the forgotten piece of online content and it dry, and so we're going to talk about it we're going to talk we're all photographers and we're also marketing consultants we also work with clients who use photography so we're going to show both a mix of why we love photography but then also what you know projects we've worked on with clients that used photography as a core part of the campaign um, it just seems to get forgotten a lot about and so when when I was talking to the blog world team, I said, hey, can I do a session on photography? I really want, you know, I could do something else, but I would really like to talk about photography because it seems to be getting, and they said, oh, I don't think we have anything yet. I'm like, you, come on. So now we get to talk about that. And I'm, I'm really jazzed because both uh, Jane and Steve are friends of mine, and we've worked together in different capacities over the years. So I'm, I'm, I'm really psyched about it. It should be a lot of fun. Okay. That brings me to to a, a very interesting question. Uh, since you've been, you know, it, it's more than just Blog World. I mean, South by Southwest, CES, all these other events, and they just seem to come together. And we meet these people through not only Blog World but these other events. Um, but my my question to you is this: it, it, Out of all the sessions, and you probably, I don't know if you've, you've checked out the schedule yet, are there any sessions that you've seen that you found like very interested in taking a look at? And and possibly attending uh, to learn something, maybe. I haven't even looked. <laughs> I didn't even know who was speaking until you know five minutes ago when you asked me. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's funny. Blog World's one of those things. Well, I should say. I mean, last Blog World, I was busy a lot of the time working with you know a client, and then you know, so I didn't get to a lot of sessions. I always make a point to go to the keynotes because the keynotes are always top notch. Good. All right. Question number five: Are you going to buy Facebook shares? I wasn't offered any. But if you were offered some, would you buy them? Um, 
Uh, mm, at the thirty-eight dollar price, yeah, I probably would buy some. No, if I was offered, if I was offered to buy shares, I probably would buy some because I think it's going to be kind of manic and crazy for a couple, at least a year, you know. And I could easily sell it at some point, but I think it's going to definitely do okay. You know, at Ford, we give people all sorts of opportunities to participate, to be heard. Uh, and we certainly welcome uh, ideas for uh, inventive programs and everything. And one of the things that Jim Farley, uh, our CMO, who did not give, uh, who, who gave the, the keynote last night, he did not have a chance to, to get this out. But what a challenge we wanted to issue to Blog World attendees is, we think we've done a pretty good job at changing the way we've begun to launch our vehicles. but. We're not quite there yet. We need your help. And if you can tell us how we should launch our next vehicle, give us ideas. What's the most engaging content you would find? What's the way you would prefer to interact with Ford Motor Company or the way that you'd like to see the, the car rolled out to you as a consumer? We'd love to hear from you guys and kind of understand what's going to work best in your world. Right now, let's talk about the speaker lineup because that just got announced. Now, you've been seeing these faces on the front page over at Blog World Expo. People like Robert Scoble, like Deanna Brown from Federated Media, Gary Hoover, who's, uh, who's with Hoover's World, Chris Brogan. Of course, Chris Brogan's been to many a Blog World, so if you've been to a show in the past, you've seen him and probably talked to him before. Peter Shankman. Now, Peter Shankman was at L.A., for Blog World, and he just knocked it out of the park for the opening keynote. It was amazing what he said, what I learned from him. He started out by just going down and capitalizing on an idea. I won't talk about it too much because he might be talking about it on his keynote, but basically he made a t-shirt and that t-shirt sold and he realized that marketing was his thing and he got into it. It's so many more. You can check it out on the front page. They've already released the keynotes. You can check that out all over at blogworldexpo.com. Speaking of which, you know, we've got an awesome podcasting track, and if it wasn't for this man, Cliff Ravenscraft, I don't know, I don't know if it would have been this awesome, to be honest. And I've done the Blog World tracks before for podcasting. It's a tough job, but Cliff made it look easy. We're going to sit down with him, and we're going to talk with him for a couple minutes, and we're going to do that right now. So here's Cliff Ravenscraft, the podcast answer man. Talking about, of course, we're talking about Blog World and New Media Expo. First of all, uh, why don't you tell everybody who you are and where they can reach you? Sure. Well, uh, Cliff Ravenscraft, as he said before, uh, podcastanswerman.com is my main brand. Uh, I actually started podcasting as a hobby back in December of 2005 about a TV show. And what uh, the TV show happened to be Lost, by the way. You can check it out at lostpodcast.com. Anyway, grew an audience of tens of thousands of people over the course of two years and decided I wanted to devote my life to that community and creating content and doing the things that I found was my mission and purpose in life, which is to entertain, educate, encourage, and inspire other people. And I decided to leave my career in insurance after 11 years to pursue podcasting full-time and I have successfully been doing uh, podcasting full-time since January of 2008. You're also now the podcast track editor at Blog World New Media Expo. Yes, it's, uh, it's quite an honor. Uh, it's, it's funny because uh, I, I feel kind of weird in a way because I'm one of those guys who was bootstrapping things very tight in the, in the early days. Uh, back when this was a hobby, it was it was a hobby that was not generating any income. In fact, uh, there's a reason for that, and that's because when it was a hobby, it had no desire for it to generate income. Uh, and as much as I wanted to go to the podcast expo and then the podcast and portable media expo and then the new media expo and, and stuff like that, I never attended any of those. Although I wanted to every year, I just never could uh, you know, get the time off of work or I couldn't you know, put the money together. Yeah, uh, and then I decided to go into this full time, and I'm like, okay, now I have to, right? Well, you know, the, if you know my yeah. story, the first year, my first year in doing this full time, I didn't make a lot of money, uh, so I didn't make it that year. And then uh, what happened was, is I, you know, I just keep plugging along. I keep, you know, I, I, you know, I'm laser focused on the future and and the success that lies ahead. And what happened was uh, last year in June. Uh, Rick Calvert reached out to me. Actually, no, it was Paul Colligan reached out to me and says, Cliff, you know, I talked with Rick. Rick's heard your story. It, everybody keeps talking about you. Can you come to Blog World and share your story? And so I personally got an invite to come to Blog World. 
I met Rick while I was at Blog World. Rick and I had some amazing discussion about podcasters. And if you know anything about me, you know that I really don't hold my opinions to myself. It's not like I'm opinionated and out there telling people where they're doing everything wrong or anything like that. Yeah. But it, I just I just share things from my heart as I see them, and I don't it, I don't really you know try to sugarcoat a lot of things. And and I shared with him some things that I've heard, and he shared with me things that he's experienced. And he's like, man, Cliff, I you know this this is me. Would you like to come out to L.A. and that this is at the NYC event. And so I'm like, well, heck yeah. And so they, you know, they, we got out to L.A., had a blast last year. As a result of going out to L.A., I extended my trip a day or two and went up to Penaluma, California, got to meet Leo Laporte. And, uh, you know, it, I had such a great experience at Blog World, uh, NYC, and L.A. last year that one of my goals for 2012 was to just simply get invited to come back and speak. Uh, oddly enough, about two or three months ago, uh, actually, no, it was about three months ago now, Rick actually reached out to me and says, hey, can we have a talk on the phone? And I gave him my number, and uh, he's like, hey, I, you know, I want to invite you to come out to NYC in the West Coast event this year, but I want to also talk to you about something else. And that's when he threw it on me. He's like, listen, you know, I'm looking for somebody to take over uh, and, and get the podcasting community on board. And I've talked with a couple people, and, and they've suggested that you're the person to, to, to reach out to, the person who might be able to convince the podcasting community to really give this the, the chance that it deserves because we have desired from day one to really meet the needs of the podcasting community. Uh, first and foremost, I want to let people know that there is a podcast that has been created that is purely devoted to the podcasting track of Blog World and New Media Expo. That's and exactly can, where I wanted to go with that, so go ahead. So uh, that's the first thing. It's like, listen, we need a podcast that talks about the podcasting track to give an inside look, to let people know that this is something that Blog World's serious about, and to let people know what is coming, who's coming, what sessions are being presented, a way to communicate to the podcasting community about Blog World, to let them know that it's not all about blogging. The very first episode, by the way, I think is probably the most mission-critical episode, and in one of the things that I told you that there were a couple things I needed to work out with Rick before I would commit, they are so serious about helping po the podcasting community and also the video streaming community. Uh, they, they're so laser focused on getting those people involved that they are willing to dump the branding of Blog World to help, people communi to help communicate to people that this is just not blogging anymore. And so with those things in mind, I want to tell people, go and listen to that first episode. You'll hear the history of how this all came to be. The, the, blogging, the Blog World and New Media Expo podcasting track or whatever else they tried to call it in the past, it is, it is the whole history of what happened there, why it didn't work out in the past is all in that first episode of the podcast report. All right. Thanks a lot to Cliff for that interview. We're going to have the full interview up on blogworld.com, also on my YouTube over at Geekazine, as well as all the other five questions. Once again, if you want to be part of this for next week's episode, just hit me up on Twitter at Geekazine. Of course, you can also hit me up at Jeff at blogworldexpo.com. Jeff at blogworldexpo.com. All right. That comes to the end of Blog World TV, this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. One more thing before I go, and that's for all of you people that have gotten your tickets, got your hotel rooms, got your airfare. Now's the time to get your schedule aligned. Figure out the sessions that you're going to go to. Figure out the people you're going to talk to. If you can get a hold of them in advance and say, hey, I want to set up a time to talk to you about this or that. Look at the sponsors, because there's many big sponsors. Let's take a look at a few of the sponsors here. We've got Ford. We've got... Uh, ME, we've got .TV, Southwest, Heineken, Stitcher Internet Radio, uh, our Browns, Bronze Level sponsors, Technorati Media, Blogger, uh, Vidi, Century 21, uh, Uric Vodka. They had a nice little vodka tasting in L.A. It was awesome. Stick Cam, WordPress, Vanilla, and, of course, all the other sponsors, Johnson & Johnson, Social Moms, Jansen, uh, which is uh, part of Johnson & Johnson, PR Newswire, and network solutions. Talk with these people, get schedules going, figure out when you can sit down and, and do a one-on-one -on -one with these people, with the conference speakers or anybody attending. 
and get more connections. Get your business cards ready. Get ready to pass them out and get ready to go to Blog World because it's going to be an amazing three days. Remember, Blog World and New Media Expo, you can still get a ticket. It's still there. You can go up to blogworldexpo.com and get your tickets and get into this event. New York City, June 5th through the 7th. And I will see you there at Blog World New York. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Once again, you can find me over at Geekazine, Think Magazine, take out the mag, put in a geek.com. You guys geek out, and we'll see you next time.